G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Thank you much for coming to us, and this time it's of us, uh, Kevin Young asked the questions of the Lord Mayor Tom Tate. Lord Mayor, thanks for coming along. And uh, Pleasure. What's your thoughts on the high rise coming on the beachfront? Will that be a boom bust again, and will that negative um, publicity, if it did happen, mm -hmm. reflect inland from the Gold Coast beachfront? It means that uh, there's more jobs created here in the city, so locals will be living in this uh, property. Mm -hmm. The second variable I say to you is that these developments are mixed development, that is, the bottom part of the building will be uh, a hotel style, so that it will cater for tourists, and the top half will be apartment blocks, and uh, apartment can be service apartment or non-service. So you see, when you add the two together, and um, it, the mark, it's two different markets, and the economy is broadening. So mm -hmm. it won't be a it won't be a boom bust, it's a gradual uh, growth of our city and that's how we want to uh, uh, encourage. We are very keen also on the Gold Coast because prior to the Commonwealth Games or Olympic Games, prices of property always sort of escalate and we've been anticipating with our members that would happen, but also what would happen would be there were, there'd be a flat period of three or four years after that. I'm very uh, excited now about the extra developments you're bringing in long term that's going to see the city continue to grow. And if you look at the previous examples, Beijing didn't have that opportunity, Sydney didn't have that opportunity, uh, Atlanta never had that opportunity. So uh, you've now got me excited about post Commonwealth Games yeah. as well. Delhi as well, there was a, we call it the hangover. So what we're doing now is that I'm using the game as a, a leverage for investment now. And mm. that investment doesn't just mean property only, it, that investment means I want people to grow their business as we march towards the Commonwealth Games. So, uh, so that momentum will build post the Commonwealth Games. This mm -hmm. is going to be an event city. People are going to want to come and train here because we're going to have the best uh, sporting complex uh, anywhere in Australia. One question that uh, I've been asked to ask you is, what's your tip for, for the best investment on the Gold Coast? You know, um, for residential housing, mm -hmm. I, I would look uh, towards the northern growth corridor because light rail stage two will line up and connect heavy rail uh, by 2018 and uh, the access and, uh, and livability is going to increase. The, the thing at hand for us is to, to build a cruise ship terminal mm. on the ocean side. So that's a little bit of uh, going out in the ocean, a mm. uh, little bit of road uh, pier uh, style. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's, that's what I want to get done. So that, because meanwhile, we have uh, a cruise ship industry sailing past, billions of dollars going mm -hmm. past our, um, our city. And I want them to uh, dock here and uh, enjoy our city as well before they get to Brisbane. Now we might have to cut that out because uh, the Lord Mayor shared that with our conference attendees in there and we got all very excited about it because we know that cruise ship terminal is really going to um, blow the coast apart with uh, I think there's like two and three thousand people getting off there probably every day feeding up and down the coast restaurants and uh, all the service industry as well as the dream wells we have and all those sort of things so um, I'm just joking we will share it with the rest of the world but mate that's an exciting thing. It, it, it is and uh, it, it would, from, the exciting part for me is that it will create jobs for our future generation. Mm, huge amounts of jobs yeah. Well I appreciate your time is very very valuable and I think there's election coming up in uh, a few sleeps and yes. your time is very valuable. Mate, I really do appreciate your time. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thanks for Thank you. Me.